Okay, we're here with Marianne Ferrer, our pre-press specialist at Womack Publishing back here in the back. And um, what Marianne is going to do is she's going to walk us through the new system, the new ER, the new ECRM system that we have running now uh, to help us get the uh, pages ready for the uh, for the new uh, machine that we have that will print out the plates to print the paper with. So Marianne, you can tell us what you do some and go ahead and do. Okay. Um well, the first thing that I have to do is download the pages from the fetch site. And this is why having a print order is really important because that print order tells me how many pages it is, how many sections it is, and exactly what pages it's got color on it. Cool. Okay? Okay. Right. So, this folder that is right here is my folder that I have all my newspapers in. And right now, um, I have Caswell Messenger up on it. And this is the folder that I download all the pages into from the Fetch site. Cool. So the first step is grabbing all the pages and moving them over to this folder. Okay, here they are right here, all 14 of them for Caswell. Gotcha. Then, the, it's, then the next step is to pair the pages up so that they can go out to the CTP system and you just click on them. There's 14 pages in this section for Caswell this week. Okay. And um, you get two pages, one in 14. And you open them like this and you've got two positions here. You've got one and two and your number one position is your right hand page. If you hold the paper up and look at page one and page 14, one is going to be here, 14 is going to be over here. Okay. So you've got to make sure that you've got your pages in the right position. Then you want to in position them, the two up broad sheet. You just click on two up broad sheet. This is really easy. Then you come down to page setup and one, this is color for the front page. You click on CMYK and I have to click to hold it because if I don't, it'll automatically go out to the system up there and start printing it. Oh, okay. So then it automatically comes over into this folder and it's working and you can see and you can see it changing and it read all four colors. It went from one to four and until it says done, it's not ready to, to look at. Okay. So then I just click on it. It opens up. Okay, there the pages. I can rotate it zoom in on it. Oh, that's fantastic. It's nice having this big screen because I can see the full page and get a pretty good idea of what's going on and see how everything looks and make sure nothing looks funny or out of place. Okay. Okay. And the next step, once I do this, is to rotate it back and zoom out. And then the next step, to send it out to the system out there, the processor. Right. I just hit output job, say okay, and before I can get up and go out there, it's already out there ready to go. Kay. Okay. So, the pages I just sent is page one and 14, so it's up on the screen, and we've got got four pieces, one for each color that will, that will print, the C and Y, K. Then it's just a matter of clicking to start it, and now, now we start reading, reading it. Okay. Um, this is the way all the pages are done, and it's just a matter of telling it whether you want it to be color or whether you want it to be black and white pages. Okay. That's very good. It's a lot easier. Cool. It's a lot quicker. Cool. And a lot less confusion than what we had before when we had film laid out on all these tables, little piles of film for each paper, and um, there was always a possibility of getting film mixed up and getting pages from two different papers and putting them together, and stripping them together. So now that's a lot less likely to happen. Okay, great. Thank right. you very much.